All right. So give more, give more than others. Some say give more. Pushing beyond the limit means give more than others. Some say give more than others this year. So whatever you're doing this year, your profession, your calling in church, in your department, give more than others. Forget about who is not committed. It's not your business. Forget about who is not in church, who is in church. It's not your business. This is a personal race. God will reward us personally. He must know that. He will not give my reward to you, not a reward to me. So when he comes to church, forget about who is not committed, who is not there, who is dragging food, who is giving 70%, who is giving 40%. No. If you give 40%, you, will, you get 40% reward. If you give 50% reward, you get 50% reward. If you give 90% uh, uh, input, you will get 90% uh, 90 reward. Even the exams. Can you go and give um, 40% and they give you 100%? No. It is what you put in they will give to you. If you put in the effort of 100 that required meet 100% requirement, they give you 100% requirement. The same thing in God. The same thing in church. So when it comes to church, it is what you give to God that God will give back to you. There's somebody. If you give God 50% of your time, of your energy, of your devotion, that's what you're going to get. If you give God 100% of your commitment, of your service to God, he will give you 100% result. Hello, somebody. Hello. We need to understand this. We need to understand it. I told you my story. In this water tank, I used to move from my fall to Gundu water side. Push here. Go back. Trek. No food. Listen to a tank. We are giving 100%. We are not paid, though. We are not paid. Of course, man, you are wearing this. We are not paid. Full time pass, we are not paid. In this water tank. But we are doing this work with 100%. Never beg for members. We know that we are giving. I'm told about the grace of God is every some of us. So it is what to give that God will give back to you. It is what to give to society that society will give back to you. So when you come to church, don't just come and you are doing for you're not doing it for a pastor. You're not doing it for any member here. The church belongs to you. You are the church. You are the church. And as a member of the church, you it is your it is your it is your it is your uh your your responsibility. To do to add value to the church where you claim to belong. So if you're not adding value to the church where you belong, of your com your value of commitment, devotion, and faithfulness, you don't expect God to reward you. Everyone shall be rewarded according to their input to His kingdom. If you give God on thirty percent, He will give you what? Thirty percent. If you give God fifty percent of your commitment, He will give you fifty percent reward. Hello, somebody. So if you give God 100% reward, uh, commitment to his service, devotion to his kingdom, he will give you, in fact, if God will give you even more. Hello, somebody. He that sow in wind shall reap world wild wind. So God will always give you more than what you give to him. This year, tell the labor, what, say from, from today, I will give my heart. Say from today, I will give 100%. Commitment to the service of God, whichever department, whatsoever God has called me to do this year, I will give my very best. I will push beyond the limit. I will give 100%. Give Him praise. So don't look at anybody. And this sister is not there. This brother, now let me they work. Now let me. Say, no, it's not your business. It's, uh, it's, not about, it's, not, it's not about the brother, it's about God. It's, about, it's between you and your God. It's between you and your God. It's between you and your God. Your sacrifice is between you and your God. So I'm saying, all I'm doing now, what has, it, what has the church done for me? And I just forget. You think that God is not watching you? It is God that will touch the people to bless you. It's God. Hallelujah. I've told you how it was years ago, I prayed for somebody many years ago. I forgot, forgot it. I wasn't even thinking about a car. But the God has to flog the man to send me a car. It, for a whole year, he refused to give me the car. I wasn't even, I was not thinking about I had a good car then. But God has to flog the man and send the car key from, uh, from, whichever way, from abroad to me. Why? Because I was busy doing this work. When you do God's work, God will take care of you. Somebody hear that. If you do God's work, God will take care of you. If you take care of God's business, 
God will take care of your business. Say it, if you take care of God's business, God will take care of your business. If you do God's work, effectively, God will also take care of your business and your life, your career, effectively. Give him praise. So give your heart. You are not looking to do it for anybody. Whatever you can do to promote the church, do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why I like one of the young man here, Brother Yobo. I keep on saying whether I hate him or not. So, but when this guy go blow, they go surprise on him. When he go blow, and he must blow. It's giving, so it's not possible. I'm praying for the dead. It's only person this choir that repair. We don't, we don't, we doesn't even come to meet us to repair those drums. He repairs those drums with his own money. How much are paying him? His income now is not regular, but anytime money enters his hand, he will make sure that he gives his tie. He does not fill his tie. He does not play with first fruit, and he does not play with the uh, prophet offering every month. He repairs his drum. Now, for how many weeks now you see? Like today now, I know it's very sure show. He didn't. Bring that uh, bass guitar. Is the one that pay for that bass guitar. You enjoy last Sunday. Come on, you are dancing. <laughs> it was him that have been doing it for how many Sundays now? But most of most of you have more, more money. You earn money, you are working, you are doing business, but your money na at a gum. So tight it. You don't want to give anything to the work of God. You want to take. Bro, it does not work like that. Praise God. Look for something you can do. Doing it for you are doing it for God does not need your money. It is you that needs the money. The church doesn't need your money. It's you that need money. So what are you guys doing? Most of you are salary earners. You have regular income. You are doing business. Your business. I told you before, saving the loan does not prosper people in the kingdom. You have supernatural dimensions of prosperity. Praise God. Today may God break poverty from us. Thank God today. What service is that? What's today's service? Deliverance from what? Today we will go remove that poverty mentality. I go scrape it out of you. And I will put the prosperity mentality in you. Give him praise. Are you not tired of poverty? Don't worry. What you will hear today, you will cry. If you are poor, if you are broke, you will cry. Say, Pastor, after that, no, I refuse to be poor again. Don't worry. Second service, get ready. When you hear the word today, you say, ah! I go fight poverty. Praise God. So you look for something to do. This way, church. Forget about it. Do it. When the reward will come, it will amaze you. It may not come the time you want it, but it will. When the seed don't ripe, it must what? It must fall. I pray for somebody this year. Your seed, your your seed is ripe. Your fruits are ripe, and they will fall. In your business, they will fall. In your career, they will fall. In the name of Jesus, come and give him praise, somebody. To do whatever you can do. Don't look at any brother. Hey, they are coming late. To, they are on the co- you don't see your pastor. Have you ever seen me coming late to church? You see me on time. Follow me. Don't copy bad people, bad attitude. Copy good attitude. Copy good character. Good life. Don't copy bad people, bad character, bad behavior in church. Praise God. You must keep giving up to stay up. So keep giving up to stay up. Today, success is the greatest threat to tomorrow's success. Right, is one. Today's success is the greatest threat to tomorrow's success. Today's success is the greatest threat to tomorrow's success. There's always a cost involved in moving forward. I'm going to know that. There's always a cost involved in moving forward. If you must move forward in your life, there's a cost, there's a price. You can't move forward. Hello, somebody. God asks Elder Hess, he will tell you. For him to move forward, every level, every movement, every, every new level requires new sacrifice. I like that. Every next level requires new sacrifice. Hmm? New sacrifice. 